Hi everybody, today is our lesson 4 in Mark chapter 1 verse 6, which says, John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. This description of John stretches our imagination, isn't it? <laughs> He's identified as a wilderness man. He lived a very simple life in the desert. He wore clothes like another uh, prophet uh, in the Old Testament. His name was Elijah. And the book where we can find things about Elijah was 2 Kings. And the chapter 1 and verse 8 brings us a, a short description uh, for us to recognize uh, Elijah. It says, they replied. So the soldiers were talking to a king. They replied, he had a garment of hair, or he was a hairy man, and had a leather belt around his waist. The king said, um, that's Elijah. <laughs> so that's the description. The same with John the Baptist. He was very different from the religious people of the time. They used to wear long clothes, uh, different kinds of clothing that the people would look at them and they would say, oh, this person is a religious one, you know, and, uh, uh, and some of them uh, used to show off, I am a religious person, so you have to follow me. So John wasn't like that at all. He had a different call. His father was a priest. So in other books of the New Testament, like Mark, Mark is a book, and it's also a gospel. Gospel means good news. So there are other gospels. So in other gospels, we can see uh, an angel uh, sent by God to talk to John, John's father, uh, letting him know who John would be, which kind of man he would be, about his call uh, that he... He had to be separated from, from the world, that he would come ahead of the Messiah. So even before he was born, uh, the angel came to his father, bringing all of this description that God sent. He would be a separated man. So we saw that he ate locusts. Locusts were in, are insects, so along with uh, crickets and grasshoppers. Um, locusts are called clean insects. So in the Old Testament, we can learn that God, uh, in many places, uh, He commanded the people, His people, called the people of Israel, to eat some, certain kinds of food but not other kinds. So those ones they could eat, they were called clean food, and the others were unclean. So locusts and crickets and grasshoppers were the insects that were clean. And it was very easy for John the Baptist to find them in the desert, along with wild honey. And it was interesting because I was checking that locusts, locusts and wild honey, they were very nutritious, very good for health. So I can imagine John the Baptist as a big guy. I don't know, I, that's my imagination, <laughs> a very strong guy. And look which kind of food he used to eat. It didn't need to be too much, but that's the thing here, guys. When we, we follow what God tells us to do, He provides for us, for what it is necessary for us to be strong in Him. We can learn a lot just studying about John, because if we obey God as He did, God will provide for us, for you and for me, what is necessary for, for us. We don't need too much. We just need to follow God's directions, okay? So, and, and his clothing, we saw that uh, um, uh, he wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, 
very simple clothes um, because he was a simple man uh, just bringing a powerful message okay so that's our verse for today every Monday we are here with a new lesson if you haven't watched the previous lessons please uh, check our channel for lessons one two and three for you to understand the whole context okay and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.